Hello everyone and welcome to this video guideline on extra credit projects in this course. So for this course um, there's a couple different projects or opportunities for students to earn extra credit and they're largely extra credit that is going to be connected to or related to improving stu students grades around discussion in class writing assignments and blog posts. Uh, what that means is extra credit isn't applied to students' essays um, since students are given the opportunity to revise those that those don't shouldn't necessarily need extra credit because that's what the revision process is for. Um, and the extra credit process, the extra credit projects or opportunities wouldn't be won't be applied to the final project since it in itself is its own. Um, assessment and also through the rough draft pro because there is a rough draft due then students are going to have the opportunity to revise from their rough draft so the extra credit projects are largely focused on improving grades around participation in class writing assignments and the like All right, so what isn't extra credit because students often when a student comes uh, to an instructor and asks for extra credit what what I see happen often is that that extra credit is, you know, attempt to radically change a semester's worth of poor performance. Um, students come to the instructor, you know, towards the last third of the class or the last quarter of the class and ask for some kind of extra credit that will change a grade that from something that may be failing or a D or a C into an A. Um, and usually when the student asks that, they're asking for something easy. They're saying, is there some easy way? They don't explicitly say it, but that's largely what they're asking because extra credit is saying, or rather what extra credit is, uh, is an opportunity through illustrated added effort and thought to reasonably improve one's grade in a course. Uh, what I'd like to point out to students is that they come to instructors often asking for extra credit and I always ask, well, what is it, what, how does the student expect to do not only continue to do the work that's been assigned to them, which they've proven they can't do well, but also now take on more work and through that somehow get a better grade. Um, it often doesn't entirely make sense. To the student it does because they may have been exposed to instructors who have done this in the past or think extra credit isn't doesn't really mean that much, but uh, from the instructor point of view what they hear is, you know, for uh, what they hear from a student is largely saying that the student has been able to do the work at the level expected, but now wants to somehow do more work with the, expect, with the expectation that that will result in a higher grade. Um, and that just isn't the case. So just, just to kind of be aware of what extra credit is and isn't, and something to be thinking about within this course. Um, all of these assignments, you know, you can't wait to the last minute to try to get all of the points. You have to actually think about doing this strategically. So just be aware of that. So you have three options for extra credit in this course. You have dual work, extra blog posts, and note sharing. So let's take a look at each. So option number one, dual work. Um, where this would happen, this would happen in the face-to-face -face class and online. And you can do it in any given week. And how you would do it is that students would come to the face-to-face -face class and do the online work. That is, watch the online videos, participate in the online discussion, um, make sure you do everything in the week that's expected of both the face-to-face -face students and the online students. Um, for this, it's recommended that students send an email to the instructor informing him that the student is doing dual work. This just helps me keep the record straight and make sure I'm aware of it. Given that I have students kind of going back and forth in these different environments, it can be a little hard for me to keep track of that. So. It's useful uh, for, for you to inform me if that's your intention. And value, it replaces missing or low graded in class writing assignments, discussion posts, and replies, um, as, well as, as well as that participation grade in the face-to-face -face class. 
So the idea here is if you want to boost your grade, it would entail coming to class as well as going to the online class of this course. Option two, extra blog posts. So that would happen on the course blog, and it would be by Sunday of the applicable week. That is, if it, um, whatever you're writing about has to be a reading from that week. You can't do a blog post in week 10 with a reading from week four. You need to stay consistent, stay on top of whatever it is that we're reading. Uh, students will write an additional blog post on a different course reading than the one that the student has already written about. So in a given week, rather than writing two, then you write, uh, rather than writing, I'm sorry, rather than writing one, you write two. Or, since we have more blog, we have more weeks than we have actual posts due, right? We have, I believe, uh, 13 weeks of, we have 13 weeks and you only have to post 10 blog posts, then you can have three, four, you can just keep doing throughout the semester and have three that count towards extra credit. Um, it's also recommended in this case that you send an email to the instructor letting him know um, of that additional blog post. Again, just for record keeping, I try to keep an eye on all of these things, but things are going to slip by, and if there's an email, it helps cue me to keep an eye out for it. And it replaces uh, missing or low graded in class writing assignments, discussion posts, and replies, and participation. Option number three, note sharing. Uh, this is going to occur in the Go in a Google folder that I'll share with students at the beginning of class. And again, it's due by Sunday, 11.59 of the applicable week. So this would be for, this would, this would happen, you know, if, if you're, if the week that we're covering, say, Nathaniel Hawthorne or Herman Melville, that would be the week that you would submit notes. You couldn't do it two weeks later. Um, if we were looking at, say, you know, se uh, 17th century uh, or 16th, uh, 18th century essays, you couldn't do it when we're on 19th century fiction. It has to be notes submitted by that given week, um, not later on. Um, and this is largely open to students who come to the face-to-face -face class. This isn't open to students who are in the online class. Um, this is this is student. This is a way for students who are in the face-to-face -face class to provide these notes. Um, and that's one of the things is that this this folder will be open to all students. Um, so if you miss the face-to-face -face class or are ever curious what goes on in the face-to-face -face class, you can go into this folder and, and hopefully see notes that students are sharing. Method. Um, basically, students write up or eventually type up their notes either in class or after class, and they share it. Um, they post it to a, a shared folder on Google Drive by Sunday. Um, and the notes need to be substantial. Uh, they shouldn't just be a recap of, say, a PowerPoint that the instructor might have, but they should actually represent the meat of the class. Um, clarify, you know, ideas, concepts, quotes, those kind of things. They should all be, re you know, the, the content um, should really be there. So be sure to, to check those out. No, or be sure to be, to check the, to check out, or to know that, you know, this is, there should be some, your notes shouldn't just be superficial, um, they should be a good amount, and I will be posting, or I will be responding to them as I see them, and letting people know if, if they need to add more or not. And it's, like with others, it replaces missing or low, uh, created in-class writing assignments, discussion posts, and replies, as well as participation. Alright, those are the guidelines for extra credit. Let me know if you have questions. Thank you.